Hello there and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at the case dam break in 3D. So we're going to begin by clicking on the macro button in the toolbar up at the top there. And then we're going to select macros. And we're going to choose our designsphysics.py macro before clicking execute as we have done there. So we'll just wait for that to load. And now we're going to click the setup plugin button on the right hand side there. So we can ensure that our plugins are as we wish. Um, you might have a slightly different version of PowerView, that's not an issue. Um, as long as everything else looks pretty similar, we're all good to move on. So we're going to click OK there, and we're ready to set up our new case. So we click New Case on the right hand side there, and then we click on Case Limits on the left. And we're going to begin by positioning our domain. So we're going to have an X value of minus 50, a Y value of minus 50, and a Z value of minus 50 millimeters. And next, we're going to choose the size of the domain. So we're going to have a length of 1,700 sorry, millimeters, a width of 700 millimeters, and a height of 600 millimeters. And we're just going to position that in view by clicking the button in the top left there. So now we're ready to import our STL, so we're going to click on import STL on the right there and we're going to find our STL file which we have saved in the material folder. Oh, There we go, case dam break 3D structure and we're going to leave the scaling factors as 1 and we're going to name this tank and click import there. So we're just going to change the um, the transparency of this it doesn't change the um, the properties of the shape tool, just allows us to see what's going on a little bit better. So we're now ready to create some more geometry. So we're going to click on the yellow cube in the top there to create a cube and we're going to call this building. And again we're ready to place this so we're going to go to position we're going to give it an X value of 900 millimeters, a Y value of 200 millimeters, and the Z value is going to remain as zero. We're going to give our box a length of 100 millimeters, a width of 100 millimeters, and a height of 450 millimeters. And you can see that in the center there. So we're now ready to create another cube. This is going to create our fluid section. So we're going to call this water. We're going to position this at 0x, 0y and 0z, so no changes to be made there. And we're going to give this a length of 400 sorry, millimetres, a height of 600 millimetres, a width sorry, of 600 millimetres and a height of 300 millimetres. Now we're now ready to add these parts to our simulation. So we're going to click on add to DSPH simulation at the bottom there and you're going to see it appears on the right in object order. So if you look over to the left again, you can see that our type of object is bound, MK bound is zero, and everything else will stay the same. So we're going to do the same to our building. Add to simulation, again it appears on the right. Again type of object bound, MK bound one and fill mode full. And this time water, we're going to have type of object fluid. So now ready to check our order. Um, we're going to have water at the top, like so, which can be adjusted by clicking the arrows. It's important that the order is correct, as that determines the order that the parts appear within the code, and therefore the order that the particles are created. So we're now ready to define our constants. So we'll click on define constants at the top there, and we'll just have a quick check through these. Everything here is going to stay as default, so don't worry about it too much. So now we're going to change check our execution parameters. So click on that there, and we're just going to have a look through these. So we're going to change our viscosity value to 0 0.05. Oops, sorry, 0 0.05. There we go. We are going to enable data SPH and leave the delta SPH value as 0.1. We're going to change the time of our simulation to 0 0.5 seconds. I'm going to change the timeout data to 0 0.005. And we're now ready to change the interparticle distance to 0.015 and then we're going to save and run the gen case. So we're just going to save that in a folder here. 
and we'll call this case down break 3D. And again, case down break 3D. And there we go there. Okay. Okay, so we're just going to have a look at the file, that, the folder, sorry, that's just being created there. And we'll just have a look at the contents of it and have a quick kind of run through of what it all is. So if we have a look in here, we've got our save files. And here we've got the generated files. So one of these is going to be of particular interest to us. So we're just going to go into PowerView now. And we're going to open the case down break all VTK file. And what this will allow us to do is it will allow us to see the beginning, the starting position of the particles um, there. So we'll click on apply there and we'll orientate that in Y plus. And there you go, you can see the particles in their starting position. So we're now going to go back into FreeCAD and we're going to run the simulation. Um, so you have a couple of options here. You can run it using either a GPU if you have the correct hardware or using the CPU. Um, if possible, it's recommended you use the GPU because it's much quicker. Um, results are the same. Um, you just get a much quicker result. Um, so we'll just have a look at the log here and you can see and then we'll open the output file as well. Um, so we'll just change that so we can see stuff appearing as the simulation is running. Um, yeah, there we go. And you can see on the left the log and the output files on the right. Um, this has been sped up, um, so don't worry too much if yours is a bit slower. Okay then. So we're now ready to process. So we're going to click on part VTK and we're going to select the fluid part to export. Uh, sorry, not the fixed part, just the fluid part. And we'll call that part fluid. And we'll export that. Okay. And we're now ready to visualize this in PowerView. So we'll just kind of we'll get rid of this part that we've done before and we're going to open two, two files. I'm going to open the DP VTK file at the top there. And we're going to open the part we've just exported, which is the part fluid VTK just there. Once again, we're going to apply. Um, we will set an opacity to the DP part so we can see what's going on inside the tank there. The, we're going to color the fluid part by velocity, like so and then we're ready to run the simulation. And there we have it. We, there is our dam break case in 3D. If you have any further questions, please refer to the Jules Physics Forum, or don't hesitate to contact us at julesphysics at gmail.com.